What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video and this is going to be a n different style of video than what I normally do. I've been getting so many questions about stopping the deuce close scheme that's very popular in stuff like weekend league and there aren't really any pros that consistently run deuce close right now other than problem and he only really runs a handful of plays. So I'm not really able to show you guys a, an example of pro play so I'm going to make a video for you guys and kind of talk about what I think is the best way for me at least to try and defend against the normal cookie cutter deuce close scheme so basically right here I'm in the Eagles playbook on offense the plays I have are I came out in bench and then you have the stretch wham a PA misdirection and tight end angle so that's kind of the five main plays you see at a deuce close now defensively how I like to defend against it is I come out nickel normal or if you run a 3-4 based book you might have nickel 245 that works as well a nickel normal flipped cover six and what I do is base align press pinch my D line and crash them down and so uh, the reason I come out in this setup at first is I want to stop the run the, people want to establish the run with the wham and stretch at a deuce close initially so you want to be able to stop the run right off the bat that's what you need to be expecting from your opponent so this does a great job against the wham the stretch to both sides and then the only time it really has a little trouble is if they flip the wham but I'll get into that in a minute but as you can see right here a normal HB wham is going to get hit in the backfield by the cornerback coming off the edge in that quarter flat he's not going to get blocked so he's going to be coming in every single time against that halfback wham now the reason this stops the stretch is really the same principle on the right side that cornerback is going to come in off the right edge and be able to stop the stretch but on the left side the cloud flat defender on the Tampa 2 side of the cover six is not going to get blocked nobody's out there to block him he's going to come crashing down at the snap and he's going to be able to make a play in the backfield on the stretch left so stretch right stretch left are both locked up wham to the right is locked up so then that leaves wham to the left and really uh, if they run wham left most people don't even get to this point but if they do uh, you want to scrape to the left side and just try and shoot a gap take up a blocker do whatever you can to just cause as much congestion as possible and then hopefully you can maybe get a block shed or you might even be able to shoot a gap just get somebody in position to make a play on the ball carrier so the way I like to defend the pass out of this formation is if my opponent starts passing the ball and I know they're going to pass, I go to a cover three cloud look and I make it look the same as cover six. So base align press, I pinch the D line, I go ahead and what I do is I put the far right defender into a deep quarter zone and I'll kind of get into that in a second why I do that. But uh, what you're going to see out of tight end angle, a lot of people will either max protect streak the tight end or they'll, you know, just run it stock block the running back I'll go ahead and just run it the block running back way uh, but a lot of people like to hit that corner route on the left side and so uh, this cover three cloud what it's gonna do is your job and what I do out of this play is I actually use her the left middle linebacker now or the left linebacker I keep saying middle linebacker but the left linebacker now at, in mutt this could be a problem because of the identifier chemistry a savvy opponent could catch on and say every time he uses the right side it's cover six every time he's on the left it's cover three cloud I play a lot of regs so this doesn't really come into play but I could see that being something that people could catch on to so just be aware of it uh, but I use her the left side linebacker and your responsibility on this play is going to be to strafe back with the streak route by the tight end and then on the cut when the corner route cuts to the sideline you want to go with it and undercut it people want to throw that route down and towards the sideline so that they can cut it off from the deep zone defender so you're gonna undercut it and make sure he can't throw that route now if uh, you go ahead and use her that what a lot of a lot of times what will happen is that corner route they have a certain window they can throw it if they wait too long corner routes uh, they'll get led out of bounds and so basically if they don't throw it as he's cutting or right shortly after he cuts it becomes too late to throw that route so then what you can do is you can peel off and peel back to Zach Ertz over the middle of the field who's running that angle route if that makes sense and so that is the main way now if you are for sure that they're running tight and angle or if they kept running it on you whatever you can go ahead and man up the right side linebacker onto Zach Ertz to run that angle route and then your only responsibility becomes sticking on that corner route right because now you have the hard flat to cover the drag uh, you have the man-to-man -man defender on the angle route you just have to trust that he's going to keep up with him and then on the left side once again you do the same thing you strafe back back pedal with the streak route and then peel off 
and go to the corner as he cuts. Now, if they go tight end angle to the right side of the field, uh, this is where the deep zone on the right side comes into play. And you notice I have Harrison Smith here. And so it's very important that you have a 91 zone defender here. So if you're playing regs, I recommend putting whatever 91 zone defender you have right in this spot. If you're playing Mutt, you probably have 91 zone all over the field. But you're going to basically bank on this defender playing that corner route. So that's why you want to base a line press. So he's going to sink back. He's going to be able to play the corner route. You're going to have the hard flat underneath to play the drag. And then that basically turns you into you have one responsibility and that's to play the corner or not the corner route the trail route the the backside angle route and what you can do what i'll do a lot of times is i'll use her the drag for the first like second of the play and then pass him off to the hard flat and circle back around and guard the angle route so you're going to see right here the 91 zone from harrison smith does a great job of sticking with that corner route he plays underneath and he's going to jump that pretty much every single time, no matter if they throw it when he breaks, no matter if they throw it right here, like when, you know, a few seconds after he breaks or a few steps after he breaks, rather. Now, what you might ask is, you know, your baseline pressing with a deep outside corner zone, doesn't that leave you susceptible to getting bombed? Yes, it does. Uh, Deuce Close is a very tough formation. It's a symmetrical formation with a lot of good routes. So there's not one size fits all defensive play or adjustment that's going to stop everything. So it's always give and take. You just have to try and ex or, or try and predict what your opponent's going to do and know the weaknesses of your defensive setup. So if you know that your weakness when setting up your defense like this is possibly getting bombed deep on the right side of the field, and then you need to know at the snap of the ball, if you notice a fade route or a streak route coming out from Torrey Smith, you need to know that you need to get back and that becomes your first priority. So it's always knowing kind of you set your adjustments based on what you think your opponent's going to do, but you know your weaknesses and you know kind of where you need to be depending on how the routes unfold. And so you need to be able to you think like that on the fly after the snap of the ball. So that's kind of how I like to go about covering tight end angle. Now bench is very similar. This setup on the right side, once again, you have the outside quarter zone going to play the corner route. The hard flat plays the out route. On the left side, you have a hard flat to play the out route. And so that leaves you just tasked with guarding the left side corner route. So that's all you have to do. Even the check down to the running back is going to be guarded by the hook curl over the middle out of this cover three cloud. And so bench is pretty simple uh, to defend out of this setup. Now, Last but not least, you have PA Misdirection, which PA Misdirection is a really tough play. It's a very versatile play. They can run it many different ways. A lot of people, or I say a lot of people, a popular setup is to block the running back and then drag the far left receiver. So if that's the setup your opponent's going with, it kind of becomes out of this setup, you're kind of in a rough spot because you have to pick basically between either guarding the shallow crossing route by the right side tight end or the post route behind it. And really, if your opponent's patient, and makes a read you can't cover both you you have to basically try to bait him if you're going with this cover three cloud style defense because no matter what if you guard the underneath crossing route he's going to be able to probably low point that post route over the middle of the field unless you pull your your that defender way far down into the box which obviously could lead to you possibly getting bombed down the middle of the field and like i said it's all about give and take so if that's a risk you're willing to take all for it go go ahead and try it out uh, but if you don't, then they're probably going to be able to low point that post route in front of that deep zone defender. So either you peel off to the, the, the deep post and if they're patient in the pocket, because you have a hard flat on the left side of the field, they'll be able to throw that shallow crossing route with a pass lead like downfield behind that hard flat. And then they'll have success doing that. If you stick with the shallow cross, they can low point the post route. So really, if you're in this style of defense, you have to try and bait them. And, and what a lot of people will do is like user the shallow crossing and then circle around and try and bait the post route or vice versa. Um, but obviously there are different adjustments you can go to to try and slow down PA misdirection if that's a play that they're consistently hitting you with. Uh, but as I said, PA misdirection is a very versatile play and there's not really a universal setup like there is for like a lot of people run tight end angle and bench similarly. It seems like a lot of people run PA misdirection differently. So it's kind of hard. You just have to adjust to your opponent's tendencies. And like I said earlier, if you can sh if you can shut down the run with the wham and stretch and put them in long down and distance situations out of this deuce close formation, it becomes so much easier to defend against because really you just have to defend the sidelines because a lot of people like to throw those corner routes. And then PA misdirections, obviously a wrinkle people will throw in uh, to try and get some routes going over the middle of the field. But it becomes a lot easier when you don't have to tailor your defense to worry about the wham or stretch every single down. So that's just a little rundown of how I like to approach defending single back deuce close. 
I hope this video was able to help somebody out. I know it's not a video uh, style that I normally go with, so uh, any feedback would definitely be very well appreciated. If anybody has any questions, definitely feel free to leave them in the comments, and I will definitely get back to you and answer them to the best of my ability. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching, guys, and until next time, take it easy. Thank you.